The Mexican prairie dog is a social and energetic species that also happens to be endangered. Their scientific name is Cinemus mexicanu, and they are closely related to squirrels and chipmunks. They are reddish-brown with a black-tipped tail, and they have a thin coat during the summer and then grow a thicker undercoat for insulation during the winter. They tend to live in little communities of tunnels in the ground with about 10 to a group. On the map, the area coverage in orange in the is the current range of the prairie dogs, and the historical range was much larger but has decreased severely in the past 50 years. They live in the state of Zacatecas, which is situated in north-central Mexico, and mainly in the Nuevo Leon region of the state. They are mainly herbivores, but sometimes eat insects, and they get their water from cacti and other plant plants in the plains. The predators they have to look out for are coyotes, bobcats, eagles, hawks, and snakes. According to the IUCN Red List, the Mexican prairie dog is considered very rare, and the current population in the known 600 square kilometers that they live in is unknown, and the population is severely fragmented. In 1990, they were first put on the endangered species list, and even then they didn't have a solid number of the amount left. They just knew that the population was declining due to the less frequent sightings of them. Humans have played a large role in the destruction of the Mexican prairie dog population. Until 2004, when the Mexican government outlawed the killing of prairie dogs, people killed them recreationally, and because of the expansion of livestock and agriculture, they killed them by poisoning and plowing the fields that they inhabited. Also, by having livestock on the land of the prairie dogs, it eroded their tunnels, which can injure them while trying to get back home. Some believe them to be pests and a threat to their crops, when in actuality they are helpful to the soil by aerating the ground and also fertilizing it. Also, with them digging their tunnels, it can allow water to go deeper into the ground and reach the roots that are further in the ground. And having them around keeps the ecosystem of the Mexican plains alive, with the many predators around who need them, and they need the predators as well as the other plants in the area. The Mexican prairie dogs have full protection of the law. The Mexican government has outlawed the killing of them in 2004, wherein Cahuila it is strongly enforced. Also, the El Tequillo conservation land in the state of Zacatecas has assisted the population be safer by not being threatened by the rising large farms that are spreading over the plains of Mexico. Conservation groups have also transplanted some communities around to the more populated areas to group them up and encourage breeding and growing the population back. Experts say that having the prairie dogs around is very beneficial to the land because of their helpful agriculture techniques like aerating and fertilizing. And with more on the ground, they can be, the ground can become more fertile. I think with the increased interest of conserving and protecting these animals, it makes a huge difference in the quest to rebuild their population and get them off the endangered species list. And I think it is very possible that if we help them, we can complete this task.